So I just thought we'd give you another view. This is what it looks like from the front with the feeding stocks. Now I'm not going to touch her today in here. This is only day two of being in the stocks. So I won't touch her. A lot of horses are really worried about being touched while they're eating. And it's certainly also true in the stocks. That's something that we're going to work on. Again, it's another level of being comfortable with humans in your presence and touching you while you're eating. I've got it going really solid when she's eating out of the trough, out by her running shed, where I can walk around her on the right side, walk around on the left side. I can touch her in the girth area where she tends to be very sensitive, under her belly flank area where she tends to be very sensitive. I can do her boots. I can rub all over her out there, and I'll continue to do some of that. But right now, my next step was to get her used to eating near other horses without being very um, defensive and, and dangerous. And so when I'm comfortable that she's good in these stocks with these other horses around, then I'm going to start touching her while she's in the stocks, right? I'll touch her in the head and the neck. I'll end up touching her behind on her, on her rump and things like that. But it is certainly a stepwise process. And like this horse on the right, he, he hated the stocks. He was terrified of them. Well, it took months and months to get him good in the stocks because he didn't like to be anywhere where he couldn't see. Well, that was a that was a precursor for him to learn to trailer load. Okay, because if he wasn't comfortable eating in here or these stocks as open as they are, he wasn't going to be comfortable in the trailer. So we got that going, and then we had to get him where we could touch him in here because he was fighty and bitey about it when he had his food. And then now I do his fly mask and all that with him standing right here. But in the beginning, any pressure on his head at all whatsoever, and he was flying out backwards 100 miles an hour. So this is a super way to do a whole lot of different things um, when it comes to using the feeding socks. So, but this is what we got with Sophie today, and uh, we'll show you what comes next.